Throwing the ball as a goalkeeper is an extremely common distribution technique that helps goalkeepers throw the ball quickly and accurately. The throw by the goalkeeper can be very versatile, reaching teammates in many distances and different ways. So in this video, I will show you how to throw a football and give you drills you can do on your throwing. The throw can be used to get the ball from your goalkeeper box to a player for a counter attack. You'd usually use this after making a save or claiming a cross. There are two different types of throws as a goalkeeper, which are a high one and a low one. For the low throw, your point of release would be slightly different. Start off from your feet. You want to ensure that your footwork is well suited for the throw. You want to do a crossover step in the way, rotating your lower body before re-rotating your body the other way for the main power. If you are right-handed, as you are running to throw the ball, you begin to cross over step with your left leg stepping in front and to the outside of your right leg, pointing away from the target to ensure more hip rotation. As you take the first step, you want to move the right leg back behind the body slightly further than the original step, pointing towards the left leg whilst keeping your upper body facing the target allowing more rotation. As you make that step, you want to step with your left leg back in front of the right leg, opening your hips, having your toes pointed towards the target for power and accuracy. As you make that step, you are about to throw the ball, so therefore your back leg would rotate inwards and step over your planted leg, finalising the footwork. The original rotation in the opposite direction during the throw creates elasticity in the soft tissues of the body, storing elastic energy like an elastic band. When you are rotated in the right way, the elastic energy will provide the power to snap back like an elastic band to create a powerful throw. Your hips rotation creates most of the power during a throw, the same way a boxer says the power comes from the hips. Although this is the correct footwork to use, sometimes if your player isn't far away, then you don't have to use this type of footwork as footwork is very situation based, as you can also use the standard two step shuffle for speed on your throw. For this footwork type, as you are about to throw the ball, you would turn your body sideways whilst shuffling your body towards the target twice and on the second shuffle, you'd plant your foot facing the target for an accurate throw with the hip rotation as well. On your second shuffle, you'd start to throw the ball meaning that your back leg would loop around your body, stepping in front of your planted leg for the power due to the rotation of the hips. Your upper body is equally as important as the lower body to create a good throw. Whilst executing the footwork, you'd be holding onto the ball with both hands, ready to throw it. On the penultimate step from the footwork, you would slightly take the ball in front of your shoulder before taking it back behind your body. During that transition, you'd let go of the ball with one hand from the front of the ball and start to point it towards the target for a split second before pulling it back around your body for more rotation of the upper body. Whilst doing that, the hand holding the ball would stretch your body backwards in a sideways motion with the ball directly behind you and your arm fully extended. As you take the penultimate step, you'd swing the arm with the ball over your head in an overarching motion for accuracy on the throw. As you are doing a low throw, you'd start to lean forward whilst the ball is starting to be catapulted. You'd release the ball out of your hand as the ball is just above your head to ensure a low trajectory. As you throw the ball, you'd push down on the ball with your fingers to create backspin, making it easy to control on the receiving end. For the high throw, you'd use most likely only the crossover footwork, but your release point would alter. As you are about to throw the ball for the high throw, you try to keep a straight posture or lean slightly back to allow for an upwards trajectory. Your release point of the throw would be just before the ball gets past your head, while still applying the downers force from the fingers to create backspin. So that's how to throw football. Now let's move on to the drills. If you reach this point in the video, comment down below save, and here's the first drill. For the first drill, you'll be on the edge of the box and throwing the ball towards the goal, working on your technique, trying to keep the ball's trajectory as low as possible. This drill works on your technique for a low throw and can be done by yourself. For the second drill, you would be throwing the ball at the crossbar from short ranges and increasing the range every single time you hit the bar, working on the different types of throws at different ranges. This drill can also be done by yourself, working on your technique at different ranges 
and getting a better feel for the throw. The last drill, you'd be taking continuous follies from a feeder before another feeder shouts go for you to claim across from them before they start to run down the line and you must throw the ball match in their run. This drill is match realistic, working on your throw, technique and timing. So that's how to throw football, goodbye.